gave up. Tonight, several Miami police officers are being investigated after arresting a working journalist. And that journalist says he has the pictures to prove that those officers crossed the line. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live in Miami with those pictures. His name is Carlos Miller, and about two weeks ago, he was taking pictures at what was a fairly routine traffic issue up Biscayne Boulevard from here. Well, his arrest that night is now raising questions about freedom of the press and the functionings of police. So I start shooting, I take a couple of shots. For a photojournalist, it was a stroke of luck. Carlos Miller needed crime scene pictures for a story and happened upon one at Biscayne and 67th. There was no yellow tape, and besides, I was pretty far from them. The photos Miller ended up shooting that evening two weeks ago documented his own arrest for obstructing justice and resisting these Miami police officers. That's Sergeant Ronald Roming. He grabbed me by the arm. And crossed, he escorted me across the street. And they're telling me to keep moving, keep moving. I was surrounded by five officers. And then they just pounced on me. At issue now, whether five Miami officers assaulted a constitutional right to document their ordinary official business on public property. A police spokesman insists Miller's behavior made him a traffic hazard. He would have been arrested if he was John Q. Citizen if he was acting in the fashion that he was acting on that scene that night. But the facts of those actions may be caught in the crossfire of clashing stories. So what he's being accused of is standing right in the middle of the crime scene. That's a pure lie. On the heels of a police of police officers were you always what looks to be about a quarter block away from the scene yes I was the entire time the entire time traffic having to stop to accommodate him taking pictures who's standing in the middle of the street if anybody is them the charges Miller faces are misdemeanors the actions of the five officers are now under review by their own department and what started that investigation was this letter from the local chapter of the Society of Professional Journalists sent to Miami's police chief, Miami's mayor, and the city's civilian investigative panel. Miller's arraignment is set for next week. Live in Miami tonight, I'm Glenna Milberg, Local 10. Investigators are trying to pinpoint the exact...